Hi everyone, it's Michael. Um, so here is a nice, um, simple problem. Um, I found it on the Art of Problem Solving Forum. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what competition it's from. Um, actually, I think I, I may know. It's, it's from um, the first Girls in Mathematics Tournament 2019 uh, in Brazil. So, the problem says we have uh, ABC is an isosceles triangle with AB equals AC. Um, X and K are points on AC and AB uh, respectively, so, so that KX is equal to CX. Um, and the angle bisector of AKX um, meets the line BC at point Z, and we want to show that XZ passes through the midpoint of BK. Um, so for this problem, I'm assuming that XZ intersects BK at G. Um, so if you haven't seen this problem and you want to try it, uh, feel free to pause the video. All right, hope you all had fun. Um, so now I will go over the solution. So in all, in all my videos so far, I've never involved cross ratios. Um, everything's been, for the most part, fairly elementary um, geometry. But I feel like this is a really beautiful example of how powerful um, cross ratios can be. Um, so if you haven't seen them before, I would highly encourage you to read about them and maybe I'll do a video on them sometime. But when you apply cross ratios to this question, um, it's, there's almost no ingenuity needed. The solution just um, appears by itself. So um, basically for any four points uh, on a line, there's something called a cross ratio. So for example, B, G, K, and A have a cross ratio, and C, X, H, A have, have a cross ratio. Um, and it matters the, the order in which those four points are labeled. Um, but if you have an external point um, and you draw lines through, through four of the points, um, the four points that constitute the cross ratio, and, and you see where they intersect another line, uh, the four intersection points will end up having the same cross ratio. Um, so for this problem, for example, um, the cross ratio of B, um, B, K, G, and A has to be the same as the cross ratio of C, H, X, and A, because if you look at point Z and you draw the four lines through B, G, K, and A, um, it intersects the line A, C at those four points. And it turns out that the, the cross ratio is preserved, so it always stays the same uh, when you do that. Um, so there's a lot of math behind this. I haven't even said so far what the cross ratio is, um, but that is a very cool property of it. Um, and if you want to read about it, um, I, would, I would definitely encourage it. Okay, so we have this equality. And now here I'm going to show you what the cross ratio actually is. Um, so basically, you you you, you take um, the two the first two points, so B B and K, and then you look at point G. Um, what is the ratio that it splits that segment into? So it splits it into the ratio B G over uh, K G, and then you look at the next point A, and what ratio does that split it into? Well. A is not A does not lie on the segment BK, um, but you can still kind of think about it as having splitting it up into the ratio um, AB over AK. So the cross ratio it's kind of a ratio of ratios. So um, it would be like BG over KG divided by AB over AK. Um, which is the same as BG over KG times AK over AB. So that's what this cross ratio is. And we can use the same thing here. So if you start with point C and H, 
x divides that segment up in the ratio cx over hx. And then if you look at point A, it kind of divides, in quotes, the segment CH into the ratio AH over AC. Um, so these two cross ratios have to be equal by property of cross ratios, which I haven't proven here. Um, but it can be proven um, using some trigonometry um, and law of signs, um, which I won't get into, but um, yeah, maybe in another video. So from here, the problems with the information we're given, believe it or not, the problem is already very close to solved. So uh, we're given that AB equals AC. Um, it's an isosceles triangle. And uh, we're given that the angle bisector of AKX, um, it meets BC at Z, but then I also made it meet um, the segment AX at point H. Um, so we can use the angle bisector theorem on triangle AKH. Um, so AK over AH is equal to KX over HX. Okay. And we're given one more piece of information in the problem, which is that KX equals CX. So I'm going to write that there. And believe it or not, when you combine all four of these equations, you get exactly what you want. So we want to show that XZ passes through the midpoint of BK. So XZ intersects BK at G. So we'd want to show that BG equals GK. Um, that would prove the problem. But if you combine all four of these equations, that's actually exactly what you get, um, which, which finishes it off. So how do we get that? Well, AB equals AC, so we can get rid of this AB and this AC. Um, then a, AK over AH equals um, KX over HX, but KX equals CX. So if you substitute this KX for CX, right here so we got rid of a b and a c and then if you move everything if you move this a h to this side and um, then you'd have a k over a h and that would be which would be c x over h x so you could actually cancel those two fractions you'd be left with just b g over k g equals one so b g would equal k g and so G is the midpoint of BK, so XC passes through the midpoint of BK. Um, so if you like this problem, um, please give the video a thumbs up. And I will try to think if there's any more videos that I want to post that involve cross ratios. Um, and if you want to see more videos like this, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Uh, thanks a lot, everyone.